I talked about interlocking when I was explaining the drawing of the whole arrangement. So we we'll take line one from here and it will come and pass through contact 21 and 22 before it will come back to connect to the coil. Okay, so we add it to this cable. Okay. Don't forget the same thing applies to the standby contactor also. The live wire that will go to energize the coil will have to pass through the normally closed contacts of the contactor for the main supply. Power from the standby contactor from terminal 21 